Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of 20 minutes till dawn road to 100%. Today we are going to play as Dasher and uh, we are starting to keep upgrading some things that I will not use but I just upgrade them and uh, we'll play with the crossbow and uh, on darkness 15 and I will try the forest um, with with her. Um, I've tried another run to play another run but what happened was unfortunately uh, I took an upgrade that uh, even though I had like a ton of uh, red hearts but I took an upgrade that uh, reduced my red heart count to zero and even though I had like 20 uh, soul hearts, not like 20, 10 or something, it instantly killed me. That was so unexpected. I mean, it was very unexpected, this this thing. Uh, I, I thought for sure that uh, it, it wouldn't be that bad. I mean, yeah, it would be easier than that, but uh, no, it wasn't. Basically, I learned something new. Uh, if you take upgrades that reduce your red heart to uh, zero, you will lose the run. No matter how many soul hearts do you have, you will still r lose the run if your health, uh, if your red health gets to zero. That I cannot say how let's say beast I was I, I was uh, it was fun in a way but also quite frustrating like I was like oh no really really this is how how it hit it will be oh man and I'm hoping to gain upgrades for my dragons to make it more powerful because <coughs> basically right now I'm um, um yeah basically right now i'm uh, trying to get my dragon to upgrade as quickly as i can to gain all his bonuses and uh, <coughs> other things that i can get to make the dragon better especially damage wise attack speed wise is not that important for me but damage wise is what i really want but uh yeah now I can just run into the enemy, collect the experience, and uh, not get what I want. Hooray! It seems that beside the dragon, they don't want to give me any other companion this run. Which will make the early game a bit harder, because I will. Yeah, it will be harder for me to take the necessary kills to change into a uh, tier and be invincible so yeah what i learned is that i should be very careful with upgrades that i take with this character if i don't get the upgrade that i want then i should not take it if it reduces me if it reduces my health uh, by one because then maybe I will get an upgrade that I want and I could, I won't be able to take it because my red health is uh, quite high. Uh, and yeah, uh, this one is good because it increases my damage. The uh, damage in DR form is basically based on speed, your move speed and summon damage. So the... Um, higher you run the better damage you do of course that's in a way logical with this character i mean she's running and dealing damage and yeah. when uh, like uh, reindeer hits you it's not the same if uh, he was running at you uh, with um, 20 kilometers per hour or with 50 kilometers per hour Actually, I don't know how fast the and the reindeer uh, walk. I really don't know. But yeah. Um, also, this weapon is actually 
good with this character because um, um, it's dealing a lot of damage in a line and pierces multiple enemies and yeah, it's getting the idea with this one is getting kills as quickly as you can and as fast as you can to gain into your invincibility uh, uh, form. With this character it's very easy to basically unlock uh, the nimble achievement um, and uh, the... I mean, it's, hmm, it's not very easy to unlock the one in which the pacifist one, that one you really need to play as Hina, um, because, yeah, it's, oh, I should have taken the side, but I got distracted, uh, because there is no other, um, basically, character which can, uh, Deal, um, deal damage without firing a weapon. Only her active skill does. I mean, the yeah, active skill does damage enough damage so you can, let's say, um, be able to kill your first few enemies till you get some upgrades in order to do it. Also, I would recommend doing those achievements: the nimble one, the pacifist one, and things like that. On lower darkness level i think i did them on like darkness one or zero or things like that it's way easier and uh, yeah why make it harder to you and now i have to be very careful because the boss attacks twice as fast and uh it deals to me double damage uh how how much do i uh, and I, I have to be very careful because the ring is getting smaller and smaller and he attacks twice as fast. This is the final difficulty for, for this darkness, the fact that the boss is attacked twice uh, as fast. Uh, anyway, I will have to pause. Okay, so uh, I probably won't be able to cut everything in post uh, editing, but uh, yeah, basically it's maybe not the best uh, time to record in the idea that uh, uh, I had some things to, uh, to do today and people are calling me and yeah, I have to um basically interrupt my recording uh some of them i will be able to edit in post-processing so you won't have to sit at my screen and watch me have the game on pause and yeah, things like that but uh what's interesting is that the fact that i have so few uh companions to help me with uh, my um getting my kills and uh, of course the shooter guys start to appear and they are not the friendliest um, this is 
I can take it. I mean, 13 red hearts at max. I mean, it will be 13 red hearts, but it will me allow me to get another upgrade uh, that reduces my health at some point. I mean, it should be fine, basically. That's the idea. Um, and yeah, I have to be careful about those AIs because they are very treacherous. And uh, yeah, it will be fine. Um, anyway, I. Oh, yeah, finally, the magic spears. Get them. Um, yeah, anyway, what I wanted to to ask is um, yeah, since this this is will not be a problem um, but yeah I wanted to ask you guys what do you believe uh, if you believe the, in the fact that there will be like a final judgment at some point that God will bring or not uh, or after you die it will be nothing basically um, so yeah I'm curious what do you think about that um, uh, yeah, yeah, I need a side. Uh, what do you think about that uh, topic? Do you believe in a final judgment in which people will be judged according to what they did and according to their response to the um, to the sacrifice that Jesus Christ made for us in order to save us from our sins or yeah, you don't believe that it will be. Because, yeah. It's quite interesting to hear your opinion and other people's opinions. So, feel free to write it in uh, the comments below. So, now I'm burning everyone <laughs> when I'm running. Which is nice. Because uh, basically the higher the run speed, the more it activates this burning, which is not a lot, but uh, this is good. Um, it can help me get, gather more kills and things like that. Also, the one that... Um, wow. The one that um, makes... Um, like my bullets travel fast and farther it's also good like this one they keep um, they keep telling me but because you can go for assassin and i think that assassin works when you are in the uh, in dear form if the, the enemy you manage to get it to uh, below 20 percent health uh, yeah, you basically kill them all, and it has a really interesting in, uh, interaction that I discovered recently, and that I think could actually have been theory crafted actually uh, with the um, yeah. Let's gain the train dragon. I mean, it will gain some benefit uh, with the one that uh, makes every time you lose a soul heart. Uh, to deal 80% of the enemy's health in the idea that it, it reduces them to 20% and then the 20% perk gets uh, into action and basically kills them instantly. So you clear the map with that interaction. Of course it doesn't work on bosses, but theoretically it could work on elites. So yeah, that's a thought uh, that I could, I maybe I should try it like in a elite and uh, take uh, soul heart damage with uh, that. I don't know if I have it. Uh, no, I have the conversion. Uh, yeah, I don't have it. Oh, oh yes, I have it. So I should try it on an elite to see if it works or not. The next time that the elite will appear and it should appear quite soon frankly um, so I should yeah, take some damage and see if uh, it insta kills the elite 
if not it it will be like no big deal because I will not let's say be in a very bad spot like it will be fine I'm not worried if it doesn't work like that but I'm curious if it works because says it doesn't work on bosses but it doesn't say anything about elites so technically it should work on elites technically we'll see I don't know when the next elite will come I guess it's like 16 mark or something like that oh and I should be careful because now we get get a lot of explody guys a lot of shooter guys that will make my life quite bad but fortunately I kind of uh, yeah, I will take this one over the wizards because yeah I I should be able to okay let's see if I take Naya nah, it doesn't work on elites too bad it would have been a nice interaction if it would have worked on elites but uh, yeah it seems that elites are also considered bosses which is yeah to be expected actually so yeah I should be very careful because uh, yeah I have a lot of health but uh, I don't have a lot of companions and this starts to show also the fact that everyone shoots at me is so infuriating hopefully I will be able to kill oh oh I forgot that I wasn't in the tier 4 now it's starting to get a bit dicey so to speak but it will be fine yeah snowballs we are playing with snowballs uh soul drain yeah we will take it or even bloodsuckers it's also good but i will go for soul drain because uh yeah my beautiful beautiful uh summons should in theory deal enough damage to to gain me some soul hearts at least so yeah I can go for certain things that I usually don't go for uh, like uh, maybe the one that increases my health and gives me health, health regen um, yeah now it starts to get a bit bad because I hate those shooting guys actually for this character this forest map it's uh, worse than uh, uh the pumpkin patch basically uh because yeah the enemies are not dying as quickly as they should so i run into them and they have so much health that they don't get one shot it um so yeah this makes me into a predicament in which i can very easily take damage and not be able to do a lot of damage uh, oh wait what happened why did everyone died around me how did i got damage in my dear form what oh man because yeah somehow I managed to lose a soul heart I managed to lose a soul heart while I was in a tier 4 or only if I was managing by somehow transform right back into a tier form and yeah I hadn't paid attention and I was actually in my human form and I took damage then yeah, I, maybe that's what happened I wasn't paying attention Wait, should be okay. So yeah, here I'm just fighting for my life, basically. Uh, this is good. Holy Spear dealing more damage. The higher health I have, because it will help me a lot. Also, it would have been nice if I would 
been able to gain the one that uh, how okay I will not ask anymore how hmm seems that this with this character is not as easy in the forest in the pumpkin patch it's very easy to gain what you need and now trying to gain uh, this uh, boss because at least in the oh wow I ever noticed that uh, I was no longer in the tier 4 and that could have been a fatal mistake uh, okay please let me transform back into the tier form because uh, I kind of need it uh, yeah I can go for vitality and go for uh, mushroom I mean maybe not the best idea but yeah, why not um, so yeah, trying to get into my safety zone before the boss gets close to me and start boxing me in. But yeah, this is the worst thing in the forest. The fact that basically, yeah, you, you are boxed in there and the box gets smaller and smaller. And this thing, you don't get it into the... Uh, how can I say in the other maps and for an and uh, for a character that basically what happens is the fact that uh, oh man I really start to I need to be careful and manage to somehow kill the boss at some point as yeah uh, has spawns um yeah why not because yeah it's really not taking a lot of damage this this boss basically and uh, he's attacking a lot and I'm dealing very little damage to him and I don't know what's the problem with him finally uh, yeah I will take the tome of summoning because I need more damage. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that was a mistake. That's for sure. It was a mistake. Uh, but at least I gain a lot of... Uh, I transform immediately in a deer. Oh man. This, this is not... <laughs> not fine. Like... I tank my reload rate on a weapon that tries on reload rate. Not the smartest thing in a to do, especially if you don't manage to get your kills fast enough. But now, even more move speed, even more summon damage. I finally get my soul knight, but I will take the giant which will tank a bit of my speed, 10%, but make it even bigger and better and... Oh man, I'm so big, it's a big boy, I mean a girl, big girl, sorry. You only have girls in, girls in this game. And uh, yeah. I think this is the biggest that you can gain your get your character to be uh, in the idea that um, um, yeah, culling it's also good. Uh, it would be better if I could have get gotten it earlier, but it's yeah, better late than ever. In the idea that um, yeah, the um, I don't think you can get get it bigger. You don't have any other upgrades that make your character. Oh, I know how you can get it bigger. If I'm not mistaken. Let's look it very high, uh, like very quickly at synergy. Yeah, giant plus angelic. Uh, yeah, you, it, then you can see how big a character can get. This character with giant plus angelic getting the synergy, and yeah, you will be a chunky boy. A uh, girl, sorry, chunky girl. 
so yeah but i don't think i will be able to do it uh, this run i need to in order to get there you need to take smite which i'm not going to take so i mean i could have taken it actually uh but uh yeah i didn't maybe i will try one day some really crazy build ideas like going for a uh, for the biggest character that you can go like going going for uh with this character with the uh, angelic with giant and see how big the sprite can go but yeah we'll, we'll see we'll see it's just an idea right now it's not i mean it's an interesting idea i should note it yeah, finally we, we get to assassin. Woohoo! So we can finally kill the enemies that are under 20% health. Insta kill them. Yay! So yeah. This is very, very interesting. I mean, yeah. this is a build idea that I will have to <laughs> try it one at some point. Maybe. Uh, I think they are. Hmm, now I think there are more characters than guns, so... Yeah. Oh! Yay! Free achievements! We managed to beat the first Darkness 15 with Crossbow and with Dasher. Yoohoo! But yeah, basically... You don't get any bonus if you beat it on higher Darkness level, unfortunately. You gain based on the kills and based on the level. So yeah, this is not a good character to farm. Uh, you need someone who is able to gain more kills and yeah. I will keep pumping into ethereal, but not play with it. So darkness 15, dasher, yoohoo! done anyway i hope you enjoy watching it and we'll see each other next time bye bye